In the Saturday play this afternoon, for the first time on radio, we go back to the C.S. Forrester novel that inspired the film in a new production starring Tara Fitzgerald and Jamie Foreman. Oi! Oi, oi! Using hands, someone! Mr. Oliver. Oh, oh blimey. Miss Rose, you give me a heart attack creeping up. What's happening here, miss? Where's the Reverend? My brother is... Samuel is... is... He's dead. Not the Germans, they were. Not a missionary. I mean... No, but they might as well have done. They destroyed everything. Herded our people away. Made the men enlist in their hateful, hateful army of Afghan. Poor Samuel. All he'd built up over 15 years. They broke his heart, Mr. Allnut. And he died. I'm sorry, I... <laughs> I was up in a mine. They've been there too, the Germans. Made a clean sweep of everything. What they done with the Belgians, God only knows. My lads done a runner as soon as they heard that Jerry's was, um... Your lads? Off the launch, the African Queen. We was up river when we heard, and they just upped and offed. That's why I come down here, see? No one them square heads getting their hands on me cargo. Cargo? Mr. Allnut? Yeah, blasting jelly, tin grub, oxy cylinders for welding, a big order for the mine. Oh, blimey. Poor fella. I, I suppose, um, condolences and, uh... How long since he's been dead, miss? He died yesterday morning. I'm begging your pardon, miss, but... And we better... Bury him. I'll dig a hole. I, I mean, grave. Don't you worry, I'll, um... Well, I, I can remember some of the service. Seen it often enough out here. I can read the service, Mr. Allnut. I have my prayer book. Rest in peace, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Um, I'll, I'll leave you for a few minutes, miss. I, uh, I'll be back at the uh, launch. Yeah. Well, right. Samuel, all the things you built, your dreams, you said you'd never leave me alone, but you did. And now what? What can I do? Where will I go without your guidance, your strong arm to lean on? Careful now. That's it. Give us your hand and put your foot there. That's there we go. Oh, that's it. Oh. <laughs> oh, sorry she ain't much to look at, the Queen, but she floats. Just get a bit more wood in the boiler. We might get underway. Underway? Well, you wasn't thinking of staying put, was you? 
What if the Germans come back? They burnt it all last time. Everything we had. Why would they... Because they're Germans. Thorough like. I reckon we might find somewhere quiet. Behind an island or something. Where we can't be seen. Then we could talk about, well, you know, what we want to do. Oh, I suppose. Why not? After all, it doesn't matter now. Right, cast off there. Take your pardon, Mr. Allnut. Oh, it's all right, miss. I'll do it. Could you just sit at the, at, at the end and uh, take the tiller? Here? Yeah, that's it. Now, to pull. S sorry, to the left. No, no, to the left. Yeah, that's it. Good. and sound. The question is, what next? I, I don't know. Well, we've got heaps of grub, 2,000 fags, two cases of gin. We could stay at my mum's if we want to. Wait till they rescue us. Only thing is, when? I, I mean, how long do you reckon the war's going to last, miss? I'm, I'm sorry, I, I just don't... The thing is, to stay out of the way. Only which way would they come? If our leads come by sea... They'll head along the railway line, but the Jerry's would slip away. Best would be if they come down from East Africa or, or the Congo. Only they couldn't. Couldn't? Well, they'd have to cross the big lake and... <laughs> you see, the Germans have got this steamer. Konigin Louise means the Queen Louise. Steamer with a six-inch gun. Stop anything. Biggest boat and the biggest gun in Central Africa. So crossing the lake is out. Bit of a teaser, really, isn't it? If only, if only Samuel was here, he'd know what to do. He always did. Yeah, well, I'm sorry to say it, miss, but he ain't and we are. What do you think, Mr. Walnut? Obvious. We sit tight, keep our heads down. I suppose, but shouldn't we, I mean, I mean, there is a war and... What could we do? Could we go down river? Doesn't the Olango run into the lake? Well, it does, but if you was thinking of it, forget it. There's hundred miles of rapids. <laughs> That's impossible. Oh, dear, I wish Samuel... What are those boxes? Well, that's the explosives. Aren't they dangerous out here on the deck? No, no, it's safety stuff. It needs a detonator, but if you don't like it, then, then I'll, I'll shove it overboard. Yes. No, no, wait. We, we might need it. Eh? Hey? Oh, them's the welding cylinders. No problem there, miss. Still no use for them at all, really. First time we ship cargo, I'll get them over. They look like torpedoes. Samuel, my brother, always used to say, blessed are the peacemakers. Very right and all, miss. Only, could you make a torpedo, Mr. Allnut? Well, I mean, really, miss it. It's like a, well, it's like a small ship, a torpedo. It's got gyros and stabilizers and an engine. But they just make it go. Make it go. Well, yes, miss, you could say that. We don't need to make it go. We've got the African Queen. We could put the gelatine Gelignite. at the front of the ship Launch. and aim it at something. Yeah, and blow it and ask the kingdom come. <laughs> we wouldn't be in the boat, Mr. Allnut. Just the, those cylinders filled with explosive pointing through the front. Wow. You could make a detonator, did you call it? Yeah. So we take oh, the no. African Queen down the Olango River to the lake and sink the Canig and Louise. I told you, Mr. The Rapids, the, 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 the boiler, the, the Queen herself fall apart in any kind of rough water. No, 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 it's impossible. Couldn't we at least try? After all that's happened, we've... Well, I, I have to do something. Oh, cold, helpless. Women... 
We must try. Well, I suppose we could try. No harm in trying. Splendid. Come on, then. What? Aren't we going to start? There's hardly two hours of daylight left. You can go a long way in two hours. Well, I suppose there's still a bit of heat in the boiler. Only she don't like it, the boiler. A and we don't want to upset her. Shall I take the handle, Mr. Allnut? Tiller, miss. It's called the tiller. It, Mr. Allnut. It might break. There's a problem yet. Only thing that keeps it going. Getting a bit low on wood. We'll have to anchor soon. All right. If we have to. We have to. You want me to take the uh, tiller? No, I can do it. Take us to port then. See the channel over there be behind that island? That's it. Easy. Easy. I can assure you it isn't. <laughs> it's all right, Miss. It, it, it means just a little turn. That's that's it. You're getting the hang of it. As we lose weight, take her into that one, that, that inlet. Good. Well done. Yeah. <clears throat> well, I don't know about you, Miss, but I'm ready for a drink. To mix it with a little river water. Mr. Ormond, is that wrong? Nah, gin. It is spirits, strong, ardent. Yeah, it's strong, all right, and very good, and all the better for not having a paper it. It's evil, Mr. Ormond, the demon rum, so to speak. Well, you don't then, miss drink like never ever ever it turns men into well swine actually well there's still some hot water in the boiler how about a cup of then tea <gasps> mr ornott you are a saint then supper tinned meat won't be much but it'd be better than nothing after a cup of tea, everything will look better. No, no, there's not, there's not enough room for, for two. I'll be fine, don't you? Worry none. Oh, dear. I'm so sorry. Oh. I'm so sorry. Have a seat, miss. Thank you. Oh, I've never been so glad to see the sun. <laughs> that was quite a storm. What's to be done before we move on? Oh, well, we need some more wood. And there's pumping the bilges. It'll take a while. Pumping? We yeah, are the last night. What with the water coming down and the water coming through, the old girl, she leaks like a sieve. I have to pump her out every morning. I'll do that. You collect the wood. 
Oh, no, no, no. It's no job for a lady. Some might say this is no place for a lady. But here I am. Show me, please, Mr. Olmot. That'll do it, miss. You can stop now. Oh, thank goodness. Still, it's a good deal drier now. Oh, can we start? Just as soon as I feed this into the boiler. I was wondering. Yes. How, well, how do we get back to the river? Well, we go astern. I'll take the tiller for that. If you reckon you can keep an eye on the boiler. Oh, yes, I think so. Let's get started then. God help us. I'm getting as bad as you, miss. The sooner we start, the sooner we'll get there. I don't know about that. We have a good few miles ahead of us yet. Drifting log. Shall I go to port or starboard? That's no log, miss. That's it, boats. Look at them. Just go round them. They won't bother us if we don't bother them. Why? Mr. Olmert, they're almost graceful. Oh, I don't do to judge a thing by first impressions. It's what my old mum used to say. Charlie, she says, always take a second look. Over the trees, Mr. Olmot. Oh, that'd be a fish eagle. He'll swoop down and grab his supper in a minute. I thought you'd have known, miss. I mean, what were you and your brother? I mean, wasn't he interested in all that nature stuff? Not really, I'm afraid. He felt his work was to convert the heathen and not only. Must have been depressing then. We labour without hope of reward in his service. Oh. There he goes, look. See, there he goes. Oh, look, look. It's so beautiful. He's got a fish. Big and all. He'll eat a better supper than we will. Oh, I think we shall do very well, Mr. Ormond. You reckon so? Nothing wrong. Please. You must tell me if I've done something to offend you. That's it. What? What is? We ain't going for no further down the river. Going to the lake. All that but that stuff. Not going any further. Oh no. Of course we must. It's no bloody of course about it. But why? Because all of this is just... It don't mean anything. It, it was just to make you feel better. But what's the matter? The river's the matter, that's what. And Shona. The village. It's only a village on the bank. If there's anywhere on the river the Germans are watching, it'll be at Shona. 
It's always been the main crossing point. When I used to go down in the Queen, there was always a garrison. They won't have left. And there's no sneaking past. The, the, the river's just one big bend there. No channels, no backwaters. Half a mile wide and you can see clear across it. Well, let's go past them at night then. That won't do. Why not? The rapids. They start just below Shung. So if we went by in the dark, we'd hit the rapids in the dark. And that wouldn't do. I, I, and it wouldn't do to go down the rapids in the daylight neither. It's the, the whole thing. It, the whole bloody thing is bloody damn stupid and I ain't getting killed for that. Oh, ow. The drunkard oh. wallows in his swinish behaviour. Oh, you listen here. Good you... night, Mr. Ormott. And please be so good as to keep to your end of the ship. I have the boat hook to hand. Launch! It's a launch! It's a bloody launch! And it ain't going down no bloody rapids! Piccadilly, goodbye Leicester Square. Over us, the, the... Oh. Oh, Riley, Riley. Oh, sorry, why not? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I don't blame you, miss. Throwing the stuff away, that... That, that nasty, nasty stuff. It... No good for you, is it, eh, miss? And that right? That right, miss, eh? Don't worry, you, 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 bloke sometimes has a bit too much. I, I, I mean, you don't have to... You don't have to ignore me. I'm sorry. Didn't mean to upset you, but it had to be said. No way are we going to... Look, it's getting dark now. I mean, ain't you gonna answer me, miss? Ever? I'm sorry for getting drunk last night. There. I don't mind saying it. I had a drop more than I should have and... All right, it won't happen again. It can't happen again, you've seen it, haven't you? So, bygones and all that, eh? Eh? Oh, all right, have it your own way, you psalm singing old bitch. You see if I care. You don't want to talk, then. <laughs> yeah. How about a nice cup of Rosie Lee, eh, Miss Rosie? Eh? I could fire the boiler up. Nice cup of tea. All right, let's hear it. What do you want? You tell us, miss, and we'll do it. I want to go down the river, Mr. Ormut. Then I'll fire up the boiler first thing in the morning. All right? Thank you. Take her to port, Miss Rosie. As far as she'll go. How shallow is the bank here? Shallow enough. So don't get too close in. Just keep us as far away from Shona as you can. And I'll get as much steam up as she'll take. Is that it? Is that Shona? 
Doesn't look much from here. Doesn't look much from close up either. Just a few huts, street, trading post. I can't see any activity. Maybe they won't notice. Yeah, maybe they will. So you just keep your head down if they start. <gasps> oh, 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 oh. They're shooting. <laughs> it's too far away to hear the guns. It's just a bullet. <gasps> Horrible noise that. Being shot at. Was that the funnel? Yeah, it's got an extra hole now. Come on, girl. Come on. Just get us round the bend. Hey, that's my best mug, you. To start from Nammy's. Pull us round the bend. We'll be outside with any luck in half a moment. That's it. That, that's it. We're through. We did it, Mr. Ormond. Yeah. We did an all miss. First time under fire, eh? Somehow it, it didn't seem quite real. You seem real enough to me. That there were people standing on the bank there trying to kill us. Actually trying to kill us. Well, more like they just wanted to stop us. Is there any way they could warn them down river? No, not likely. One wanted to seem like they let us go. And then, of course. What, Mr. Allnut? They wouldn't reckon we make it down river. Not with them rapids. Oh, my lord! I, I never thought! I never thought! Well, it's too late now. Grab the tiller, and whatever you do, keep us off the rocks. And look out for the stuff just below the surface. It's like razors. Have to bottom off us in seconds. Oh, Samuel. What shall I do? We'll sink. We'll never make it. Paul! For God's sake, go to Paul! What would you have done, Samuel? We're past! But then, you would never have been here on the river, would you? You never wanted to know that there was anything outside your belief. And you were right. You were right. Hold on! Come round. Come round. Yes. You were right, but not for me. Not for now. Oh, Samuel, if only you could have known this is so splendid. We're going through the middle there, Mr. Almost. Watch out for loss. They'll finish us as soon as rock. If the bloody boiler don't go first, come on, you son so. Come on. I never. Hello, be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Just keep your eye on us, eh? Will you, Lord? Just see us through because. Because. Oh, because ain't she something? Standing there at a tiller. All wet and her not giving a damn. Ain't she some kind of handsome woman when you look at her? Eh? Not that she started out that way. <laughs> like a mouse back at the mission, creeping around in her brother's shadow. Miserable old so and so. Never getting in the sun proper. But now, oh, she's took her chance. And I feel I could do a lot worse than that, Miss Rose. Oh, by the Lord, he could. Hold on, Mr. Almost! Don't you fret, girl. I ain't going in no bloody river. Hold on, Mr. Almost. He's not what you would call a gentleman, Samuel. But as he might say, what bloody good would a gentleman be here and now? Oh my goodness, what's happening to me? Wood! Miss! Miss! Rose! We're low on wood! We have to stop! I knew we'd get through. Oh yeah? How? I just did. There's enough heat left in the boiler for a cup, huh? What do you reckon? Are you sure you wouldn't like a gin? <laughs> there ain't no gin left, remember? Oh, I don't think I'd want it. Not today. Don't need it. Didn't we do something, eh? We did. And the African Queen, she was... A damn good old girl. And to tell the truth... To tell the truth? So was you. Only not so old. You was really something. Standing there, like you wasn't scared of... 
Nothing. I was so wet. It was, it was like being drowned standing up. Then we'd better dry off our clothes. Hadn't we? I think we had. Right. I'll go up to Prow and... Mr. Allnut? Charlie. It's Charlie. Charlie. I've been meaning to ask you. I've Stop been... talking, Rose. Give us a kiss. Yes. Charlie. Yes. Rose. Charlie. 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 Fancy a cup, huh? Oh, yes. Thank you. I, uh, thank you. It's a beautiful morning. Yep, it is that. Drink up. It's the only mug we've got now that the Germans put an hole in the other one. I'd almost forgotten. The shooting, the rapids. So good. Here you are. Well, no more shooting, but we've another day to join this, Rose. You know, I am. Charlie, there's a log. Starboard. If it hits us. All right, all right, swing us a pull. Not too much. I'll, I'll have to catch it and push it past us. Go on, you son of a. Ah, yeah, that's it. Wonderful, Charlie. Wonderful. Oh. Take us into the bank fast, Rosie. While she's still got some way on her. What happened? What was all that clattering? That's what we've got to find out, old girl. Take her in here. It's calm enough. Uh, okay. Just hang on to that rope, Rosie. You never know what kind of current there might be under the surface. Are you sure you're doing the right thing? Charlie? Are you all right? Are you all right? What is it? It's a, the shaft bent to blazes. It's, uh, it's like a corkscrew. Uh, and there's a blade gone off the prop. We'll have to mend it then. C mend it? Yeah. It must have been a rock. It's just took the tip and spun itself to hell. Never mind, love. Get some clothes on and we can think about what we'll do. I'll make some tea and, and we should eat something. I don't know. I just don't know what we're going to do. There must be something you can think of, Charlie. Yeah. Wandering around in the forest, starving till someone finds us. Come on. We didn't get this far together to give up now. Well, if we had a slipway and a forge, I could get the shaft out. And if the parcel post called here, we could write away to the makers for a new prop. Then I could braise it onto the shaft after we strained it. But we haven't got nothing. So we can't do nothing. Could you get the shaft off with the boat in the water? Look, you don't understand. Could you, Charlie? Even if it was possible. We don't have no half, no anvil, no coal, and I ain't no blacksmith. And I never, ever thought I'd be anyone's lover. Charlie. Oh, 
bellows, darling. Come on, I need more heat. What I don't see is why we can't just have two propeller blades. Talk. Too much. What did you say, Charlie Allnut? I talked to you. No. The torque on the shaft. It'd be unbalanced. It'd break again. Not that you don't sometimes. Charlie! That's all right, old girl. You talk all you want. I likes to hear it. <clears throat> you know, if my old dad had put me to engineering when I was a kid, I don't think I should never have come to Africa. I might still be back in the old borough. But then, then I should never have met you, Rosie. Nor done all this. And is it worth it? What do you reckon, eh? Look at me. Look at you. Ready? Ready as I'll ever be. Cast off. Come on, Queenie. You can do it. Please, 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 Queen. Starboard. Full of stern. Take us back to the river, Rosie. Aye, aye, Captain. Why didn't you ever tell me, you or father, that there are things you can do? Somewhere in front of us, there's a lake, and on that lake, there's a German steamer, and we are going to sink her. It's nothing outlandish, nothing to purse your lips at, Samuel, nothing to make you stop speaking to me for days on end until... It's nothing at all, except a job we have to do. If I sent myself, Mum, you'd have been proud of me. Of course, I was almost wetting myself. To tell the gods honest truth, I was wetting myself. But who'd have noticed with all that water, eh? And Rosie. Well, I see me leading her down the aisle. I mean, so what if it'll be big of me? Hey, Mum? You know, there's something about a woman like her that... How many days now? Ten? Fifteen? We must be closer. We must be near. The river... The river is... getting hotter. The river's slowing down. Steamier. Bloody eat and mist. And flies. 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 We were ground, dearie. Mud. I can see that. But we've got to go on. How thick is it? Well, not too bad, I reckon. Could we slide through it if we pulled ourselves along with the reeds? Well... We have to try. There's somewhere I thought we might. All right. Going, Charlie. Oh, I don't know if I can. Not, not for long. We have to. We must. Oh, oh, yes. oh. 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 
I'm sorry, Miss. I can't go. Oh no, no more. It's all right. You've done enough. We'd say forever in this. We never, never, ever. Ah. Oh. Rose, you look done in, old girl. I am. No. No. Today. Tomorrow. Yeah. Tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, tomorrow. How far do you think we've got? Not far enough. Not far enough. We're just too tired, old girl. Never do it. Not in a month of Sundays. We must. Sleep first. Go. Hey? Oh, Those bloody frogs don't keep us. Where's the sun? I can't see the sun. It's a mangrove swamp, Rose. Sunlight can't get through the foliage up there. It smells sour and oh, it's like a cellar, like a like a maze in a cellar. I we'll have to find our way round all the bloody mangrove roots. At least we can use the engines. Trail your hand in the water. What? Go on. That's it. Now lift it up. Ooh. Weeds. Now choke the prop in seconds. There's no way we can go through under power. So what do we do now? Get up, get out, and push the bloody thing. get clean again. I don't mind if you don't mind. Stop, Charlie. <clears throat> now. Now forward. Go up, ladies. We'll be the only two people who don't mind us. That's it. <clears throat> Keep pushing. Keep pushing, she says. <laughs> I reckon you... Oh, oh God. No. No, get off. Now burn them off. Burn them off. That's it. Burn them off. Pop the little bees. Sucking little. That's it, girl. That's it. There. There. Down there. Down there. Look. Oh. 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 Oh, no. I think that's all of them now. I hope so. Oh, Charlie. Oh, no, Rose. I'll never get through if I don't get... I don't get out and push. <laughs> I reckon it's going to be a race between them leeches and me, eh? <clears throat> See if they can... 
suck me dry before we make it through. Sinful, I, I've been with a man who is not my husband. I'm, I'm, I know I'm guilty, Samuel. Before you and Father and before God Himself, I've prayed for so long, and I, I've been willful and disobedient. I know I will go to hell. Satan will claim me as his own, and I will burn and burn and burn and. For lust and loving, loving Charlie, yes, it was, it is loving. Will you blame me for that, Samuel? For wanting to love and be loved by this man, by my husband. Doesn't get any easier. Charlie. Son. Son? What son? I can see sunbeams coming down through the branches. Look. Look. Blimey, I think you're right, Rosie. It's, it's getting easier to push, not so. Be dead. Can you see over him? Just. If I stand up on tiptoe... What can you see? Nothing. Nothing? Nothing at all. Wonderful. Empty nothing. Just nothing as far as I can see. You know what that means, old girl? The lake, Charlie. No more leeches. We've done it. <laughs> I can't get Louise. It must be gunnery practice, you know? I'd almost forgotten about her, waiting for us. Let me just... Can you see anything over the reeds? <laughs> Smudge of smoke. That'll be from her funnel. We can't let her get away. You must start getting those torpedoes ready tomorrow morning as soon as it's light. Rosie, old girl. Yes, dear. You want to take the Queen out next time Louise comes round, don't you? Yes. Yes. It's the best chance we've got. We could do it. Only, you don't have to come. No. 
There's no need for both of us to do it. Of course not. It wouldn't be fair. You ought to stay behind. Me stay behind? I can manage the launch on my own as far as we need. That's what I want to do. I knew you... Uh, all along. And you being the big-headed... Well, it'll have to be both of us, won't it? One to steer, one to tend the old boiler. Just like always. And it hasn't been always. Just a month, probably, since we... We'll do it together. For England. Right, then. That's settled. You can take the whole neck off these oxy cylinders. Easy as winking. You want to hand me the explosives, Rosie? You sure it's safe? Like I said, without a detonator, it might as well be pay. It looks more like wax. Dirty yellow wax. Tuh. Now, we've got to push it right down and pack it tight. We need... Mud. That's what we need. Mud will dry like concrete. This stuff has been the bane of our lives often enough. It's nice to do something useful with it. <laughs> I'd never believe it. What? What's funny? You are, Rosie. Who'd have thought it? A couple of months ago, the missionary sister with a face as long as a wet weekend and... Well, here you are, making mud pies to blow up the German Navy without so much as an as your father. <laughs> but what about the detonator? I've got an idea about that. I thought about it last night. I didn't know you had a revolver on board. Well, I used to carry gold in a mine, didn't I? I had to have it just in case. I, I never shot anyone, though. Well, what are you going to do with it? We'll use the bullets. We'll stick them between two bits of wood with some nails, and when we hit the Louise, the nails will hit the cartridges, which will fire the bullets, which will be on top of the explosives. Bang! <laughs> Simple. These ways, I hope so. As long as we can get enough speed up and hit the Roy's hard. Can you see her? Yes, love. There she is. Rosie, old girl. We are going out together, aren't we? Of course we are. Right then. That's it. Time to go. Yes. Time to go. And... Yes? Thank you, Mr. Ormond. Thank you, miss. Let's take her out. What is your nationality? <coughs> well, Belgian, English. It's English. British. Ha! Huh. Your name? Onat. Charles Onat. You are found on the island. What were you doing there? Nothing. Nothing! My dear man, there is a war on. You were found in, 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 in a ragged state on this island with no means of travel. I think you are a spy and the punishment... Come! Charlie! Bloody hell, old girl. Oh, I thought she was a goner. Silence! What is all this? A, a, a lady? <clears throat> Sit down, madame, please. Thank you. So, you know this man? Of course I do. We came down the Olunga River together. <laughs> that is impossible, madame. Nevertheless, Captain, I assure you we did. In a steam launch. 
Last night, the storm on the lake sank us. Mm -hmm. There was wreckage. It is incredible, madame. But why did your friend not tell us? Isn't it obvious? He is ill and tired. He ought to be in bed. <laughs> what am I to do with you? Intrepid sailors. I mean, you're obviously not spies. Obviously not, Captain. There is a British base at Port Albert. I shall deliver you there. <laughs> Let your own people sort it all out. Thank you, madame. Hey, or not, take them away. <clears throat> all the same. Incredible. Where you been, Rose? They wanted to talk to me, Charlie. They? Who? Them. The British Navy. We've got two patrol boats on the lake now. They've sent them out after the Koniga Louise to sink her. And they wanted to know how we got here. I don't think they really believed me. Well, that German did. Yes. He could see. He knew a thing or two. He knows his ship's going to be sunk and all. Poor sod. I'm sorry. About the African Queen. Nah. We did the best we could, eh, Rosie? I don't want to lose you. I reckon that's about what I feel, old girl. Then it's obvious. We have to get married, Charlie, as soon as possible. Ah. You're not married already, are you? No, no, no. Not at all, Rosie. Well, then. Well, then. Let's. Mike Walker's adaptation of The African Queen by C.S. Forrester. Rose Sayer was played by Tara Fitzgerald and Charlie Allnut by Jamie Horn. The captain was Paul Humperletz. The music was composed by Stuart Gordon and technical presentation was by Ian Hunter. The African Queen was produced and directed in Bristol by Kate McCall.